Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Desiree here with Desiree Plans. And in today's video, we're gonna be going ahead and setting up my 2023 Hobonichi Techo Cousin. I totally pulled the trigger. I said I wasn't gonna move over because I still had three months left in my current one, but I decided to pull the trigger and I got it. <laughs> so we're gonna be setting up my 2023 cousin. This is my 2022, of course, I love it. I'm gonna keep that same clear cover just because they're vinyl stickers and basically move everything over. We're gonna go ahead and set up some tabs also that I use and kind of move things over <laughs> that I've already kind of had set up. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, welcome back. So what we have here is my dashboard that I'm using from Cupcakes and Stickies. This is just a laminated dashboard that you can actually personalize for you with all your information. And then of course, my 2023 inspiration and goals dashboard from Shine Sticker Studio with my calendar. And, oh look, I have two of them. <laughs> I totally didn't even realize that, yeah. That's how, yeah, mm -mm. so I've got those. I've got tons of vinyls from different shops that I may look into using, I'm not sure yet. This one is from Sparkly Paper Co. And then this one is from Mr. and Mrs. Mint Planner. So we've got to tab my planner. I had three different sections here. If you're new to the Hobonichi Cousin, um, it is a book, as you can see. It has the monthly, weekly, daily spreads. And it's in the amazing Tomoe River paper, which is very thin. And it's amazing though, because nothing bleeds, <laughs> which is pretty good. I'm gonna use these Coffee Monsters Co. Um, printable that I had and basically cut them out and tape them in there for those. For this area, I'm still unsure how I'm gonna use it. It starts in December here, but officially January. And I'm gonna back plan. And you basically have 12 months of I should actually more I believe um, it goes into March but the actual planner ends in December now then you have your weekly spreads here are the weekly pages here and it goes throughout until you get to the daily pages and as far as the daily goes I mean it's legit a daily page so whether you're going to have like your running to-do list or a journal you can use it so many different ways and it'll be a mix for me on how I use it that day whatever specific day that is. And it's tabbed, well, I should say the flush colored tabs there you can see so you can separate them, but I put my own in the back. Um, and I should say, this is the first time I ever got the English version, so I can actually read what it says. It has different things in the back, which is pretty cool. Um, I've never really utilized it just because I could never understand it, but having it in English makes more sense now. I may use it the way it is, or I may just put a sticker over it. So those are some of the stickers that we're going to use. Um, currently in my planner now, I had used a bunch of other stickers, different shops. This is what I'm going to set up to as far as my monthly. I had already laid down my January though, guys. So I'm kind of upset about that, but it's with Planner Kate. I love it. They're a very reasonable price. So I went and bought a new one so that I can put in my new planner. And then we'll add some of my tabs, the passion planner tabs into the actual planner. I only have two sets, but we'll work and I'll show you how I use them. So the way I set mine up, just because of the way I open up my planner, I'm putting my tabs on the right hand side here. These tabs are from passion planner. I'm actually a passion planner um, ambassador. So you can use my discount code Desiree C389 for a discount also, but they have a variety, a big variety of different colors you can choose from. Of course, your black, they even have white, rose gold, silver, hollow, a number of different colors. So be sure to check them out. I'm using the regular monthly tabs, but she also does offer flush tabs also. So tons of options. I'm a colorful person, so this just speaks to me. And so I set up the monthly, as you saw at the beginning there, and I line it up sideways on purpose because I want to lay the book flat to make sure that they're evenly aligned. It's kind of hard to tell without actually kind of closing it up a little bit like that. Now, I'm separating the weekly spreads by month too um, so that I get faster finding if I needed to flip through or whatnot. 
and typically I'll also do the daily also but I don't have any daily tabs I don't have any more tabs so I need to order some more but I would start here and just separate it throughout the, re the remainder of the planner there as for this year at a glance what I'm going to do is use Christian design stickers to basically make it more fun it already says a month on there but I have her 2023 celebrations collection and I have a lots of different areas where I can use those monthly stickers. So I'm gonna jump into that. If you're new to Christian Designs, I definitely recommend her stickers. She does offer Hobonichi Cousin and Hobonichi Witch stickers also, which is great because they are vinyl, vinyl stickers and so they're repositionable, which is very important when it comes to the actual Hobonichi. The paper is so thin so it's very you need to be very careful because you will rip the page and so it's repositionable so that's always a nice thing to have right now I've got I'm using these monthly stickers here at the bottom as you can see it's just fun to make it stand out a little bit more to pop I'm still unsure of how I'm gonna use this yearly um, view here I might I don't know how are you using how would you use it you know each column basically has the amount of days on there so I could just put like important dates at a glance like that but that's what the whole monthly spread is for right so do I want to use this as a tracker maybe or I don't know the struggle is real y'all <laughs> how should I use this um, I need to go do some research obviously and see what's out there either way I've got it sectioned off in month which is perfect now december i will end up back planning but january is what we are going to get set up here as you can see from my old spread i already laid out my january and it's beautiful and i used a planner kate sticker kit which is brand new planner kate is starting to make hobonichi cousin and weeks kits which i am so excited for because i love planner kate stickers so i did purchase a new one and I'll lay that in here towards the end as well. But because Christian design stickers are repositionable, I am taking them off and putting them on my new planner. So these stickers though, and this is part of the whole quote unquote celebrations collection, it's over a thousand stickers of different events and celebrations for the year 2023, like National Clean Your Desk Day, it's National Hobby Month, um, a bunch of just celebration 2023, birthdays, anniversaries, with some cute little icons. Look, there is Spaghetti Day. I had to put that one in there. My kids just love spaghetti. So we'll be making spaghetti on Wednesday for sure. <laughs> and then any other events, holidays are in there also. I do a little Reyes. And so as you can see though, from this January planner cake kit though, she has days already on there. You get all of those stickers aside from the school one, but you have one that already says New Year's Day, one that says MLK Junior Day, National Sticker Day, like that was already part of her kit. So you already have some kind of um, idea at that point. The Celebrations Collection went on sale um, this few weeks ago and it was only for a limited time. This is my February kit, by the way, guys. I haven't done it yet though. It was only available for a limited time. So it'll come back next year. I say next year, but next month, eventually, hopefully, and you'll be able to purchase it. So moving into the front of the planner, I'm gonna use this 2023 um, dashboard, sticker dashboard from Shine Sticker Studio and try and lay it down as straight as possible. It may not happen, so. <laughs> Yeah, the struggle is real. She actually does, this is a matte one. However, she does offer vinyl ones also, which again, repositionable and it makes a difference. As you can see, mine is not straight by any means, but it's gonna work out. <laughs> so you could put other things on here. Um, in the past, I've put birthdays, I've put stats for like Instagram or whatnot, but you can go ahead and set it up however you like. So I need to make sure I had it in here so that when I do decide I'll have it. And then I'm going to put this 2023 Inspiration and Goals sticker sheet in the very, very front here. I was considering using washi, and I might still do that on the left side, but I'm going to have a cover. So the cover's going to even mess with that whole left side. So I might leave that one blank. So I've got both of those in there. 
I'm still torn on what I'm going to use. I'm probably just going to use this Mr. and Mrs. Mint planner as far as this planner belongs to. It's really cute. Um, but one thing I did fail to mention at the beginning is that everything that I am showing you today is going to be, link be linked down below in the description. Um, so be sure to check that out. I do have discount codes for a lot of these different shops as well. Now, what I'm doing for this month here to glance page here, I actually have this printable from the Coffee Monsters Co. that I that she off offered for free on her Facebook group page. And so I downloaded it and I'm going to cut each one of these out and just put some double sided tape on it and stick them over the month to make it fun. I actually did order the actual sticker sheet from her shop, but I'm impatient. <laughs> And so I went ahead and let's just do this now. I can always use those other sticker sheets in my daily monthly pages once I get there also. So I'm really excited though. They look really adorable. And again, there is how it would be lined up. I'll put some tape on it and I'm going to use my double-sided tape, of course. Normal little Elmer's double-sided tape. I'm actually about to run out, so I need to find some more. But We'll do that all the way across so it can stick and it'd be fine. It's going to be great. <laughs> I can tell just laying it over the top part of it already. I can tell it's going to look out so cute. So January 2023, guys, let's go ahead. I'm going to speed it up for you viewing, viewing pleasure also because this takes time. All in all, it took about 10 minutes <laughs> to actually cut everything out and glue it. Um, with a few distractions along the way, but I love the way it turned out. It looks really nice. I'm very pleased with it. I even have an extra printout. Um, but I'll wait for my stickers. They're actually going to be arriving on Saturday, so I'm really excited about that. So we have did the front page, you know, kind of similar to my other planner. And then I have the 2023. We got that. We got your little months tracker. And then January, I still need to come back to, to fix. Um, with the new sticker sheet, we got my tabs going. So far, so good. So what I'm gonna do real quick is do a quick little plan with me in my current planner. This is my last week in this planner. I had already set it up with some Shine Sticker Studio stickers. So I'm excited about it. Um, it's been a long time coming <laughs> at this point. It's been in my planner for a while. Um, but this will be my last spread. And actually, I think I'm going to just go with the daily right now. Since that's already set up, I'm going to fill that in later. So stay tuned. You'll see pictures of that as well. But I'm going to try and implement and practice in this planner this week with my daily and how I'm going to be intentional with it and how I'm going to use it to get practice so that when I do jump into the new one, it'll I'll have already fine-tuned some kinks and all. So I'm using the sticker sheet from Chrissy and Designs. This is part of her 2022 collection, which is nice. When you buy that pink sticker binder with over a thousand stickers, as I mentioned, you also get some about 12 of these sheets. And this one's for winter. Perfect. We're in the first week of winter. And guess what? It is going to freeze in San Antonio and we're going to lose power. I just know it. <laughs> it's awful, but... Every time it gets cold, our power grid just cannot handle it. So I'm just decorating some of these daily pages just to make it fun. Hello, winter. Um, right? Winter's on the 22nd. Oh, I could be wrong. Maybe it's the 21st. I'll need to double check. Either way, um, adding the sticker sheet, this obviously would work just fine in a vertical weekly or any other type of journaling, but I'm using it here. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I know the 24th Christmas Eve and all. I'll add some extra little deco stickers later if I want to. But again, this is just from my personal checklist um, as far as what I'm going to do. Maybe what's happening that day, my running to-do list, things like that. So we'll leave that blank for now. Let's go ahead and set up Monday the 19th. And you may be watching this after the fact. So thank you for being here. <laughs> I appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I will have a lot more setup and plan with me videos coming, as well as unboxing videos for you as well. So I'm excited to see what 2023 is going to bring for us. So this is my to-do list. This will be, I don't know yet, 
maybe my social media. I already have a social media planner, but I don't always have it out in front of me. So you'll see a lot of duplicate stuff in different planners as my to-do. It's more so my reminder because I will forget life happens. I'm a full-time employee. I'm a mom of two. I'm a wife, dog mom. Everyone distracts me and I forget things. So if I can have some kind of visual in front of me, it's going to help me out down the road. And so We'll put Monday. Normally I'd use other stickers. I have tons of headers for the daily stickers, um, but we're gonna keep this just marker pin at this point. I've already done my deco with the Christian Design stickers. And I'm just gonna shadow this. Um, I wouldn't even say shadow, it's more of the outline to make it look like shadowing, um, to make it pop, that's all. Nothing fancy, I'm basically making a line on the left side of each of those letters. Um, even on the left side of the inside of those letters too, to make it pop. And this is a struggle of a lefties because you can't see what I'm doing. I might have to just angle it a little differently so that y'all can see how I'm actually doing it because that makes me mad that y'all can't see that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We'll figure this out. Part two will be better. Um, I, and that's to say this is only part one because I haven't finished setting it up yet. There's still more that I want to add. And I still have more tabs to order and whatnot. So here, the left side is my schedule, right? So I don't, I actually have strips, but I'm not going to look for them because that will take forever. But I have some time strips that I want to use on the left side there to, because I don't do the whole military time thing. That's not for me. Um, so the left side, I'll end up putting my regular time. I, and obviously whiteout isn't always going to work in this planner either but we'll just keep it high level on that side. So my to-dos, my normal to-dos, everyday life, laundry, vacuum. And I should preface to say that this is the planner that I'm always going to have on my desk. This is the planner that's always going to be with me. So I do have a work planner that's separate that I would take to work or also have out as well when and if needed. But this is my go-to, okay? This will be my main planner. This this is it. This is her. <laughs> so um, you will see a lot more planning videos with other planners that I have. Um, and you know I'm a planner babe at this point. I do work and market for a lot of other planner shops as well. And it's fun. I love trying new things. Um, I still have not found one planner to give me planner peace. So there's a little bit of everyone else's planners out there that just do it for me. And you can see my, again, struggles of the lefty, the smearing guys. Oh, I cannot stand it. Um, it irks me. Here's a little box from my medicine that I need to do better with because I get so busy in the mornings sometimes and I will forget to take my medicine as an adult. I forget and I also blame it on my psoriatic arthritis and my thyroid for making me forget. <laughs> so it's like a big vicious circle, isn't it? Um, yeah. So it's important. I'll set up Tuesday a little bit and ultimately I'll do the same throughout the week. So let me know if you have a Hobonichi cousin, how are you also using this daily page? Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, leave a comment down below. As mentioned early on, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have your support moving forward. Let me know what you think. And again, I thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye y'all.